Dime Pascali laudes, imolen Christiani, agnos redemito meis, Christus innocens patri, reconciliabit, peccatores. Moset vita duelo, Conflis ere mirado, duvite mortuos, renad vivus. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw way bearing, the tomb of Christ who is My sisters and brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark. And she saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we do not know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloths there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cloths there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Thanks to you, Lord Jesus Christ. representative of, they will tell you that it is the light of Christ. And it is. But what we miss sometimes is that the Paschal candle itself is the body of Christ with its wounds. And Jesus doesn't just give light. Jesus is light. And that's the meaning of the Paschal Candle that we will keep with us throughout the Easter season. I want to tell you a story. It's an old story. It's a story that was told in the book of Genesis, Genesis 15. And the story goes like this. Abraham was an old man. 
And he had a wife, Sarah, who was an old woman. And they had no children of their own. And God made a promise to Abraham that he would make his descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky. And Abraham said, right. I'm an old man. She's an old woman. How can this possibly happen? And God said, here is what you will do. You will find a ram and a she-goat and a heifer and some other animals. And here is what you will do. You will take the ram and the heifer and the she-goat and the other animals and you will split them in two. Not this way, but like this. And what you will do is you will put one piece of the animal here and one over here. The next animal here and here. And what you're doing is creating an avenue. And in the first century and in the centuries before, the way that you made an oath was this. You had these animals torn apart from each other. And you would walk between the pieces. And the symbolism of it was, if I do not keep my promise, let me be torn apart like these animals are torn apart. And so God makes this promise to Abraham. And God puts Abraham in a deep sleep. And Abraham wakes up. And when he wakes up, it is dark. And he sees as he looks up a flaming pot, a fire come down. And the fire comes down and it moves between the pieces. And the symbolism of this and the message that God was sending to Abraham is this. If I do not keep my promise, let me not be God. I will keep my promise. That is a powerful oath. There's an irony to the story, though. And if we think about it, we all should know what it is. And that is that God loved us so much that he gave us his only son. And he let us tear him apart. But that wasn't the end. Because God raised his son from the dead to take on the sins of the world so that you and I would no longer have to live in darkness. You know, it's not a surprise that Mary, who sees Jesus risen for the first time, in our gospel today, we say, Mary approached the tomb while it was dark. While it was still dark. Why? Because until we see the risen Lord, we live in darkness. Until we accept the risen Lord, we live in darkness. And Jesus is the light. The light that takes away sins. The light that brings us back. And in the words of the prophet Job. I went down into the countries under the earth, to the peoples of the past. But you lifted my life up from the pit, O oh Lord, my God. May the praise be to Jesus, who is risen now and forever. Amen. Amen.